final take because I forgot to hit record. So today we are going to regrow our sweet potato. Well going. Welcome back to Smart Girl Gardening. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to grow your groceries. Yes, grow your own groceries. Today, I'll be taking you through the steps to grow your own sweet potato plant. Whether you are growing it in a pot like me on your balcony or in the yard, I'll be taking you through the very beginning, the first initial steps to grow your own sweet potato plant. Okay, are you ready to see? How we got our plant to here all right let's jump in so if you look at this you will already see that it's pushing out what we call slips at the side now I won't use I won't you know we go this entire potato what we want is for these slips right here to develop get you know get more leaves get roots and then we will take them off and transplant them now I'm cooking my dinner right now. I'm making mashed potatoes with shrimp and mushrooms. So I'm going to use a part of this in my dish. So we have, of course, our cutting board safety first, a very sharp knife, and if you know me, uh, <laughs> knives aren't my friends. And a glass of water and some, what do you call those? Well, these are actually barbecue skewers, small barbecue skewers. So what I will do, I will just look for the lowest one, which is here, and as close as possible to it, I will simply take the head off. This I will now use in my dinner, and now what I will do is to simply, let's move the knife way you can use three but I prefer to use four and at an angle we will simply stick them in so we'll try to get it at maybe roughly the same level and just go around voila And what's left to do is just to place it in the glass of water as it is. Now I don't have enough water so I'm going to add a little bit more water and be right back. This is what it looks like in the... No! The water's a bit cloudy because of the starchiness of the potato. And I'll just now place this in a sunny location and wait for the roots to develop. Welcome to my propagation station and this is the update of the sweet potato. The water needs to be changed actually but as you can see it works and it grows and it's going. Let's see if I can get a full, <laughs> full shot. So what we can do now is we can remove these slips with the roots, put them in their own water container and grow it as an indoor plant if you don't have the space it, and have it trellis or you can you know, plant it outside if you don't have winter because it's now autumn and plant it outside. Now this, let's have a closer look at the sweet potato, it's been in this water that needs to be changed actually and you can see all the roots that it has developed however some of these smaller slips we call them slips yes some of these slips they aren't getting uh they aren't rooting so i'm going to separate them from the sweet potato itself and of course discard of it and so that we can have just the slips left Okay, so first, let's discard of that. I'm going to remove the largest of the slips that has the majority of the roots, hoping to keep the roots intact. 
Okay. So with my knife, oh God, me and the knife. Okay, I'm going to gently, <laughs> gently try to cut away at without disturbing too many of the roots. Now it's a bit difficult to do from this angle. So let me set this down. Eh, voila. We have our roots intact with just a little bit and I can remove <laughs> our stick and I will just try to clean this up a bit. Right. So without doing too much damage, let's try to get the bulk of it off. Sorry if you can't see too well what I'm doing. Okay. So this seems to be, whoops. And now let's just remove the others. For these ones, yes, I have roots poking out. So I will cut it apart to see if I can salvage any of the roots. And if you can't, that's okay. And I'll show you why in a minute. So what we can do now is we can simply remove this slip. Then what I will do, if you can see these little nodes right here, they're actually roots trying to come out. So what I will do is I'll put this back in the water for it to gain some more roots. And I'll do the same thing for these smaller slips. Just twist and remove twist and remove gently twist and remove now this I can throw this away all right now that we have our sweet potato slip in its pot or its makeshift pot I'm going to stake this up a bit so I'm going to use three metal stakes put them at a triangle no and because it can't stay as it is I'm going to take the top of it and wrap a string or twine around it to keep it in place then snip oh. and tie it off so why I'm doing this is you can grow if you want to you can grow your sweet potato indoors as a vining plant going up or you can plant it outside it's really up to you so I'm giving it a little bit of stability here so that it doesn't fall over and we are finished so it will stay here while the roots get acclimatized a bit before I put it in a bigger pot for me to actually get sweet potatoes. Uh, some of them I think I may just keep inside in water and just have it keep vining and it will make a beautiful indoor plant as well. Alright, that's it. Let's see if we can give you a closer look. at our sweet potato plant okay it's been one day since i placed them in the test tube and look at these roots one day literally one day they had no roots just little bulbs on them and look at my beautiful sweet pepper slip well slips because i have several this is amazing so one day update, voila. So this is our third update on my sweet potato slips. This is the one that's in the um, soil. And as you can see, it's really grown a lot. It's put out more leaves. I think I will try to do, put a, 
comparison video to the side. <coughs> so it's put up more leaves and it's vining a lot so I need to now put it in a larger pot and I'm going to have to spray it because I think it's now it has a few pests and it's been attacked so you can see them on the leaves so I'm going to give it a spray with some neem oil to get rid of that before I transplant it and once I do that put it in I'm going to put it in a five no ten gallon cloth pot once it goes in the pot and it starts to touch the soil and trellis all of these little areas right here they will then put out new roots once they touch so once they touch the yes so give, give me more light so once they touch the soil these little nodes right here will give us new roots so this is what it looks like i think it's been uh, about yeah about three <laughs> three weeks it's been 20 days I guess so this was filmed the first the transplant or the first you know removing it from the slips etc that was filmed on the, the 8th of September um, and it's now the 28th so this is Gorgeous. Look, 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 look at her flourishing. Listen, lots of food, water, sunlight, uh, mm, positivity in a glance. Amazing. All right, toodles. Stay tuned for part two of our sweet potato journey while I experiment. Yes, I will be experimenting this winter growing this sweet potato indoors okay so if you know sweet potatoes they generally they need to be planted in spring so they can have a long growing season get the heat and the, you know the high sunlight in summer so this year I'm experimenting with growing it indoors in winter wish me luck gorgeous bye doll let me know in the comments below if you're growing your own sweet potatoes how do you do it did you do it the same way do you have a different way of doing it i would really love to know how is it going for you check out this video and this playlist for more tips and tricks on how to have a flourishing garden and remember to like comment and hit that subscribe button all right later